Did you ever wonder what it would feel like if a river could suddenly switch on? Stay with me because it gets even wilder. Some animals produce real electricity inside their bodies with no wires and no batteries. And one of them can release a jolt so strong that even a careful adult would step back instantly. Here are the best 15 electric animals that are absolutely real. If you think electric hunters need clear water, meet the eel that thrives where visibility is almost zero. In cloudier rivers, it uses low-level electric signals to read its surroundings and track movement. It is like having a built-in radar that works when the water looks like coffee. When the timing is right, it switches into a stronger discharge for capture. The cool part is the discipline. It saves the big energy for the perfect second, and it uses the small signals the rest of the time. That means it can hunt and navigate even when eyesight is almost useless. This eel proves a bigger point that comes up again and again in this video. Electricity is not only strength, it is information. Now take that river story and add the most famous electric eel, the one that turned into a true legend. What makes it special is the switch. It can send low soft pulses to explore, then jump into a high energy burst in an instant. When it hunts, it does not rely on one big hit and hope. It can fire a rapid series of jolts almost like a drumbeat until the target stops moving. Then it glides in calmly for an easy meal. That mix of scanning and power is why people have talked about electric eels for generations. It is like having a flashlight and a power button built into the same animal, and that combo is hard to forget. Picture a calm river that looks totally peaceful, then imagine it has a resident that can light up the water. The Volta electric eel is built from thousands of power cells stacked in rows so their energy adds together. It can fire quick bursts to pause a fish, then follow with longer pulses to keep control for a few seconds more. The unforgettable part is aiming. It can curl its body like a living loop pulling the target closer to the strongest zone. On top of that, it can send tiny gentle pulses that help it sense shapes and movement even when the water is dark. So, it is not just powerful, it is precise. And once you realize a fish can both sense and strike with electricity, the whole river feels mysterious. Freshwater has one more surprise and it hides behind a normal face. The electric catfish looks like a regular bottom fish until it turns on. Its electric organ can cover much of its body, so when it releases a jolt, the current spreads around it like an invisible bubble. The catfish often waits in one spot, barely moving like it is guarding a doorway on the riverbed. A small fish drifts close thinking it is safe, then a sudden burst pauses the target long enough for the catfish to grab it. What makes this animal mind-bending is how effortless it looks like it barely did anything. And it does not only use electricity for food. A quick jolt can also help it keep space when something surprises it. That is a perfect bridge into the ocean because the sea is full of electric animals that also win by waiting. Now we leave rivers behind and enter the world of ocean ambush. The common torpedo ray has a name that sounds like a machine, and it earns it. It rests on the seafloor and blends into sand like a soft shadow. Sometimes it is partly covered, sometimes it is completely still, and that is the point. When a fish glides close, the ray releases a short electric burst that pauses the target long enough for a calm capture. Many torpedo rays carry their electric organs like two soft power pads near the front of the body ready to fire on command. The ray does not need speed. It lets the ocean bring food to it, then flips the switch at the perfect moment. Even better, its body is shaped like a smooth disc so it can disappear in plain sight. Once you notice that every sandy patch starts to look like a secret. If you like animals that look like they belong in a museum, the ornate numfish is for you. Its markings are bold and its movement is smooth and calm. Then you remember it is electric. It hunts for small prey that moves through sand and shallow water, and it uses a short discharge to secure a meal without a chase. Because it looks so polished, people often assume it is gentle and harmless. The truth is more interesting. It is gentle in behavior, but it is also prepared. Beauty on top electricity underneath. And that is a theme you will see again with the next numfish, because it lives in places that look like vacation postcards. Next is a ray that looks like it was painted with patterns like polished stone. The marbled electric ray uses that design as camouflage, and it does not waste it. It settles into the bottom, lets sand drift over its back, and watches what passes above. When prey enters range, a quick discharge can confuse and slow it for a moment. Then the ray glides forward and takes the meal with hardly any effort. What makes it impressive is the calm timing. It is not frantic. It is not rushing. It is patient and accurate, like it is following a plan. 
And the more you see these rays, the more you realize ocean electricity is not about chaos. It is about control. If you want an electric animal that feels like the heavyweight of its world, meet the Atlantic Torpedo Ray. It can grow larger than many of its relatives, and it carries a strong discharge for feeding and for space when surprised. People who accidentally touch one often describe an instant jolt that makes the body react before the mind even finishes the thought. The ray is not looking for attention, it simply has a built-in way to say, give me room. When it hunts, that same power helps it handle prey that might otherwise dart away. It is like a calm bouncer of the seafloor quiet until it needs to act. And when you learn a flat, gentle-looking ray can do that, you stop underestimating the ocean. Travel to the Pacific Coast, and you find another electric ray that thrives in cooler waters. The Pacific Electric Ray spends much of its life near the bottom, so it can be easy to miss around kelp forests and sandy flats. Yet it has the same electric advantage as its cousins. One short burst can pause prey long enough for the ray to feed calmly. The part that feels so strange is the silence. No sparks, no sound, just a quick change in movement, and then the ray glides in like it planned the whole scene. This is why divers learn to respect the seafloor, not because it is loud, but because it is full of hidden specialists. And the next ray is one of the best examples of a hidden specialist. Next is a ray with a dramatic nickname and it gets attention because of where it lives. The coffin ray is known from shallow coastal zones where people explore and wade. It prefers a peaceful life on the bottom, often tucked into sand, where it is hard to notice. But if it is disturbed, it can deliver a clear electric message that says, please give me space. Many animals warn with color or sharp shapes. This one warns with a feeling fast and unforgettable. After that moment, it usually goes right back to being still and hidden. It is a reminder that electric power is not always about hunting. Sometimes it is just a simple boundary line. Which environment feels more surprising so far, rivers or oceans? Write your answer in the comments and tell me which animal has the smartest style so far. Now we enter the world of numbfish electric rays that can send a burst strong enough to leave prey feeling numb and still. The giant numbfish is a master of the seafloor. It settles into sand and waits like a hidden switch. When a small fish or crab comes close, it releases a burst that slows the target just long enough for a smooth capture. The discharge is usually short, like a quick on-off pulse, but it is perfectly timed for that close-range moment. It does not need speed. It needs control. It uses electricity to make the ocean pause for a moment, then it uses that pause to eat. The wild part is how normal it can look while it waits. From above, it can seem like a simple patch of sand. Then you realize the sand has a heartbeat and a power source, and the ocean feels like a puzzle again. Now move to warm coastal areas and meet the Caribbean Electric Ray, another numbfish-style hunter that can live in bright, shallow zones. These are the kinds of waters that feel friendly where sunlight dances on the sand. Yet under that calm scene, the ray has a working electric organ. It uses electricity to catch small prey and to keep space when surprised. The uncommon detail is how often people swim right above it without noticing. They scan for colorful fish and coral, but the electric ray is camouflaged like the bottom itself. Once you know it is there, you realize the most surprising animals are not always the biggest ones. They are the ones you never saw. If you are enjoying these real-life electric superpowers, tap like and subscribe right now. It helps the channel grow, and it tells YouTube you want more lists that feel unbelievable, but are fully real. Now we switch from rays to a fish that looks like it is staring up at the sky. The northern stargazer buries itself in sand with just the eyes and mouth area exposed like a tiny periscope. It waits, it watches, then it strikes fast when a fish swims close. But that is not the only surprise. It also has an electric organ that can deliver a jolt. So it is an ambush hunter with an electric bonus built to win in a place where speed alone is not enough. The funniest part is the mood. It looks bored like it is half asleep while it is actually fully ready. That contrast is why stargazers feel like real-life movie creatures, except they are totally real. Stay with the stargazers because the next one shows how nature repeats a brilliant idea in different places. The southern stargazer uses the same hide and weight strategy, and it also carries electric power. It sits under sand-saving energy watching for the perfect moment. When prey comes close, it snaps into action and electricity can add an extra edge right then. The upward-facing eyes make it look like it is always watching the surface even while the rest of its body stays buried. It is like a living periscope with a built-in power button. 
And that leads perfectly to the final stargazer because the last one lives in shallow zones where people might never expect electric power. Now we are at the last animal and it deserves the final spot because it combines everything you have heard so far. The Brazilian stargazer is another sand hider, another silent watcher, and another electric animal. It can deliver a noticeable jolt when touched or disturbed and it uses that power as a protective tool. What makes it feel so unreal is the setting. Many stargazers live in sandy coastal areas where people might walk in shallow water. The sand looks empty but the fish is built to vanish. Then you learn that under your feet could be a creature with eyes pointed upward and electricity ready to fire. By the end of this list, one thing becomes clear. In nature, power does not always roar. Sometimes it hides weights and switches on. If you could film one of these animals up close, which one would you choose and why? Drop your pick in the comments. Which animal surprised you most? Would you swim near them? Let us know in the comments below. Like always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.